What's up y'all? So my name is Kayla, but you can call me Coco or KK, whatever. So today we are doing a dorm tour for UMass Boston. Currently I am in a double, but since there's corona, we all basically get a single, but in those types of rooms. If you were supposed to be in a quad, you're gonna be there by yourself because of corona. So yeah, I'm gonna give you guys a tour, but first I'm gonna bring you around. I haven't seen anyone do this yet, but I'm just gonna bring you guys to dinner with me in the dining hall and I'm gonna bring you downstairs. I am currently in East Hall, but I'm planning to move to Harbor Point next year. And yeah, so let me bring you guys on my journey and then I'll give you a dorm tour. Bye. I'm in school and they have these things blocked off so these are our community like common areas and yeah that's just like what it looks like it's a really pretty sky today look at how pretty it's gorgeous cotton candy skies then I'm going to go to these are the elevators, the mailboxes, mine is somewhere there but I can't tell you because it has my address on it. There's like these bathrooms, there's these bathrooms, the first thing you know, I forgot to step to you market, it has like all food and stuff. I was just in there getting some necessities and now we're going to the cafeteria to get food. I'm gonna be honest, the food could be better. Slightly disappointed on today's selection, but yeah. Yeah. I'll let I'll let the video speak for itself. You decide what you want to do with this information. So this is my door. And this is my hallway. It's very quiet. And we use these little hotel room things. I don't know, that's what I call them. To get into our room. So we just beep, click it. Then here's my ID, yep, that's me. And then you have my little whistle, my safety whistle from the public safety, and my mailbox key. So what we're gonna do is just go in and just do that, make sure it's in okay. Then go in my room. So first, this is my little cleaning quarter and my little skateboard is there. So I have a Swiffer, a broom, a mini broom, my umbrella, my snow boots, snow boots, rain boots, whatever. A little dustpan. Then here is my bathroom. On this little hook, I have my little bag. This is from the garment district on in Cambridge. I got it for like $12. And then I got my Dooney Burt bag. And my little ID here. My fanny, all my masks. And this is my bathroom. So yeah, I would suggest getting one of these hangers because the dorm does not come with that, so you need to get one of these over the door hangers for your towels and your robes and stuff. Put my little bonnet here, my jackets. Then I have my own shower because I requested to have a private bathroom, but there's also community bathrooms. But community bathrooms are cheaper. Um, yep, so this is my shower. It's like a decent sized shower like like it's like it's okay it's really dark in here though so yeah that's it I have my little hamper 
So I'm gonna make our way back out. And then this is my closet. And if you were here with the roommates, you would only get one section. Unless you wanna work something out with your roommate and they don't need any of the closets. But yeah, as you can see, I used both because I have an issue. So yeah, those are where my pants are. And then these drawers, nobody tells you this, but they're so small and skinny. Like if you see here, like my hand is bigger. My hand is bigger than a drawer. So yeah, do what you want with that information. I have my pants, my little hats, my jackets. I have like my little dressy stuff. And my purse is up here. My big purses, and I have my necklaces, and I have my hand sanitizer and my hydro. Then, yep, another drawer, and then this is like the sink area. So yeah, that's what's here. I have this, and then there's like this little storage area where I keep all my storage things. Yeah. This is what I have so far. And this little Hello Gorgeous. I got it from TJ Maxx. So now onto the room. Let me give y'all a brief overview. Okay, so I turned the lights on for y'all could see clearer. So we'll start with this corner first so I have my little mini fridge and a microwave so you are only supposed to have a 3.1 cubic foot fridge foot or feet I don't know I'm not thinking and a 700 watt microwave so make sure you have that when you move in I have my little trash in the corner and these are essential like I don't really use them but these are important if you like want a rolly cart, I think they're really cute to have. Really essential for some college things. This is, says, happily ever after begins. With my little room theme. Then I made this little vanity. So, yeah, this is my mirror. It's a little busted right here, but let's ignore that. So I got these little marble thing holders for my notebooks and stuff but obviously there's no notebooks in there and then my pencil holder my freaking airpods this cream is so good oh my god poco cabana cream a must have but yeah and then there's my shea moisture moisturizing cream my fresh vanilla that's what my room basically smells like and my makeup stuff. And then these drawers here, these drawers are so small. Like you can only fit such, such little things in there. And like, you see, like, look it. I can't, I can't fit my hand in there. So that says something. So yeah, those drawers are small. So now onto my bed. It's pretty simple. Um, yeah. So I got these white sheets. I got this from my Ikea. It's pretty cute and it's a duvet comforter. And then my mom made this. She just got fabric from Joann's and just made that for me as a bed skirt. And then I have my little plants over here and my little thing. Yep. Then... Yep, that's my bed. And here is my little fluffy rug. And these are my little candles. They're fake. You're not allowed to have real candles in here. So I got fake ones. This window is huge, by the way. It's literally huge. Look, I'm going to show you how tall my bed is. How tall my bed is. You can actually adjust, adjust the bed. But I choose to have it really tall because, I don't know, I feel safer that way, which is weird to think. But, like, you know, I like it. So, I'm going to show you, like, how I look compared next to my bed and the window. I'm 5'7", so, yeah, you're about to see that. 
This is how tall I am compared next to my bed, and I am 5'7". Then, this, I'm gonna stand on my window. This is how big my window is compared next to me, and I'm standing inside of it. I'm 5'7", and this is how tall it is. So yeah. Next we have my TV area, so I got a Roku, I think those are really convenient because they literally have every app on there. And then I got this little thing from Ikea, it was like $8, oh I think I just gave myself a paper cut, oh well, um, yeah, I don't know what this is supposed to be, I think it hangs on the wall, but like, you know, we don't use that. So these are where all my books are, then I got this lamp for one dollar and it came with a light bulb at Dollar Tree. Then there's my little hat and my mirror, my stand up mirror. And here's how the temperature looks. So just a warning, it gets really, really cold. So I would bring either like a portable heater, you know, or warm blankets. And then the winter, it gets really really hot in the room so yeah bring a fan behind there i have like my oil thing diffuser and then my speaker then i made a makeshift couch out of the other bed so yeah i just did that and then i have a picture wall i think it's so cute and I got all these pictures off of Pinterest. So yeah, um, I just looked up like aesthetic pictures for picture walls. Like that's literally all I did. And yep. Then this corner is like my ring light and basically that's it. And then outside, my view is not all that grand. It's literally of the parking lot and the other dorms. But on the other side, the view is gorgeous because it's of the water in the city. But yeah, now I'm, I'm going to give you guys like a full overview. Thank you guys, that is all for today's video, so y'all should give me like suggestions and like ideas for stuff that I should do because I really want to continue like doing YouTube and stuff. So like just give me suggestions in the comments. Also for any other things to contact me with, you can contact me on Snapchat and Instagram. I'll put that down below. So yeah. Add me on Snap and follow me on Instagram. Don't be afraid to send me a DM of any questions you have or leave questions in the comments below. Leave questions in the comments below. As you can tell, I'm having a very long day. So yeah, bye until next time.